Kumari and I am currently in 12th grade and I will be graduate on 2023 and I am studying in EY schools. I am a coach of uh, under 12 kids as well as I am a coordinator. Coordinator work basically to uh, supervise other coaches if they need something help uh, in session plan or it can be apart from that. So that is how I am working on it. So yeah, and also I take a workshops to under 14 kids. I belongs to a small village which is Hutu where I have seen bunch of girls they get married at very early age like 14, 15. That I really don't like it because they did not get the opportunity as their brothers is getting and they get the marry at early age and they did not get uh, like to get an education better education compared to their uh, brothers i started to think that why sh why can't i join ey school where i will get to ch uh, play football and engage with other kids so how i have seen other eva girls joining eva also now and from the past so that's how i have joined eva so that i will get the uh, opportunity to do something in future so currently right now uh, in eva there is 600 plus girls and every year they join new kids so it will be very good for them because they will be thinking about their futures what they are passionate more about so that they can work on it and they will achieve their goals in the futures and they don't need to face like others are facing like same problems i have my teammates rocky stars where i used to play but it's no more right now everyone became a coach so i will be taking help from eva members whoever is there france rose gesslers and uh, Jashan and Sina are principals, second principals. So they will be the one who will be helping me and others, my teammates. My role is basically uh, before I used to be a coach, but I have stopped coaching basically and I am working as a coordinator. So my role is to help the coaches in, make, in session plans, how they can make a session plans so that they can lead their kids in the field. So that is my work and the second work is to lead a workshop which I have done today. By starting when I joined EVA it was very hard for me to join EVA because my family and the neighbors they believe that you can't do something after going to EVA and after playing uh, sports because sport is basically in my society is meant for men. Girls are never allowed. Still now, I have talked twice to my family or neighbors that yeah, girls can do something, but they said no, girls can't do. They just uh, stay in home and do house chores. But still, I keep on going Eva, and people were threw rocks at me, but I did not stop. They scold a lot. They have beaten me also, but I just keep on going to Eva, and now I am in Eva also. I am uh, taking out uh, workshops and I am giving a lot of uh, knowledge to other kids so that they will give other kids whoever will be coming next year. So I am in 12th grade and I am applying for different university and I hope I will get one of the best university where I wanted to be so that others will, other kids will also influence of my work and they will also start developing their own work. I have faced a lot of challenges in my life and still now but I am still over uh, coming through those challenges. Uh, when I came to EVA it was also for me difficult time because I never seen that uh, some examples like a girls playing a sports in EVA or in other act, uh, like in other field. So it was uh, also hard for me but uh, I have seen other kids playing so I also influenced with them. I had challenges but I fought for that and then how I continue till now. I never give up until or unless you don't success although you fail but keep on trying. It won't be like if you are trying something at one time you might not success but try again at least you will get some step on that. I am very hard working on each and everything. If I get something, I try to do the work on time. I always be empathy on things. When they came at the first time to play football, they were very same. They were not even 
wanted to wear swords because swords are not meant for women so it was very hard for them to wear our swords and kick a football in the starting i just told them to play some uh, games with the footballs or without footballs and slowly i started to having a workshop with them and slowly they get to know what it is uh, what is workshop mean to them and how they can change their life through workshop and other activities and also they started to think that yeah girls also have the right to do something they are distributing their knowledge to other family members or other friends through how this knowledge is passing it and how the other kids are learning also so i had connect uh, connected with neha didi and she was the one who goes to my home and explain the parents what it is what is meant by football and what she can do in the future so she was the one who has helped my family to make her understand that yeah muskan can do something in the future and others member also like my friends teammates they also convince my family that let muskan to play football on 2016 i get really a good opportunity to go to spain to represent india and i played there and after returning back i thought like it will be very good for me to uh, work with the kids and through how i started working with the kids and telling them what you can do in future like me i went to spain you might also go in the spain and or other field where you can start doing your work education is something which is very poor quality in my society where girls does not get the education as i am getting i have seen uh, as india is very in poverty line so because of a lot of reasons maybe education or other reason also so i want each and every girl to get a better education so that they can success something and do something in their future that they are willing to do i want in india to get everyone each and every girls and boys should get the same equal treatment like in study or in other field also this time i have seen india is keep on developing girls are also working in office and in army and doctor or nurse like they are becoming so that is great i want it will to keep uh, doing this and develop more on future we should explain them why can't girls do we can give set of examples like suppose if you are a girl if you want to something in your life if somebody is stopping you how will you feel how will you react it i will give some watch uh, like show them some videos or the or tell them verbally so that they can understand yeah girls should also get some education or something if we will thinking or like one people can change whole uh, whole india with education then it won't possible i want each and every people to help then it will success although i have seen in my society the boy who is educated they don't try to help the girls to get uh, to get her education or to do something in life like see my brother he is in 12th grade and he drop his study because he uh, don't want to continue his study but he still pursue me not to study further because he thought that what you will do after getting a uh, study and all you will go to your husband home and serve food and all so i want to break down this stereotype with each and every man who is thinking about it so that they are, so that they will think in a positive way and give a better answer to other kids uh, other girls who are not going to schools